Uh, if Bach was here now, what would he think of nowadays' music? The so-called rap. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, man. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know, because Pac like to comment on a lot of shit. <laughs> I don't think people would be happy with all his comments. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right? They would harsh try to do the cancel culture on him or something. What is this stupid ass, dumb ass, stupid ass, fuck shit? Yeah. Get this stupid <laughs> ass shit out of here. Fuck this shit. Somebody should burn this all down. You know, I can imagine. I can only imagine <laughs> this shit. <laughs> Tony, yeah. yeah, Tony Danza. Oh, okay. Tony Danza. I heard he loved Tony Danza. Tony Danza wrote him a letter. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 And and, uh, and of course Jada did too, I believe, right? Yeah, a lot of people wrote yep. from I went to see him. When I was when I was there, I was with Al Sharpton. <laughs> you know, there was yep. all type of visitors. You know what I'm saying? So and how were how different would the world be now if Tubac was here? You think he would have been our first black president? Ah, uh, I always say I don't think that. The world's ready for that. No. I don't yeah, think. I always say that though. <laughs> I don't think the world's ready for that. Barack. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Cuz yeah, I mean, I thought I always yeah. say that that I thought he would have been the first black president and Dude, they wasn't ready for Barack. Oh, yeah. Minded ass Barack Obama. Yeah, <laughs> I know that's true too, right? That, and how and, is, and also, man, how was it making um, Papa's song off of stri strictly for my niggas? Like one of my favorites off that album. And how was it like strictly for my niggas? One of my favorites too, because he's the first one I ever seen had Ice T and Ice Cube on the same track. That um, I mean, we was going through a lot of the early shit, but that was that was a dope experience because it was it was just us. And, you know, that Ice Cube song and that Ice T song, them, the, those is like is is rap heroes. We like them dudes. Right. Uh, I mean, you know, we came in. We were also fans, you know, you see, you know, so as Pac love Ice Cube because Ice Cube was smart and yeah, he's a dope artist. And you know, he tried to work with people that he could. Now that you see the power of having a record deal and being able to broaden your horizons and record whatever whoever you want to, yeah, that's what he that's what he did. I want ice cube, I want you know what I mean? I want, <laughs> right. And I and I see in how much he did with that ice. too. <laughs> right i see how he did because he could have like worked with anybody but he always like always made sure that he put the west on his back you know what i'm saying like he said west side till he died you know what i'm saying like having it like just doing music with e40 and and um and drew down and all these cats from there you know what i mean like i yeah, represent you know because like, the bay area is what gave us our start Start right, but you know, made us blow, right? You know, and um, also, um, what was it like, like, man? Because was you there at the um, how do you want it video? And did you hear the story about him and Nina Hartley and all these porn stars that got at it? And like, he done beast mode on Nina Hartley at that <laughs> night, <laughs> like, I, I hooked that up. Did you? Well, I hooked him up with the. Uh, there was a, a director at the time named Ron Hightower in yeah. the porn world, and I, he was in right. was in jail. He's, he's calling. We was talking. He was like, "What you doing out there? Who you running with?" Blah, blah. And I was right. telling him I was with Ron at the time, and uh, and then he when he got out, he said, "Who's that? Who's that dude? Who's that dude? Got, you know what I'm saying?" And I told right. him it was Ron and Ron Hightower. I hooked him up, Ron Hightower, and he hooked up the ladies for the video. All right, which he Great gave him mad respect too. I heard too, like they said, like he, how much, how much he loved. You know what I'm saying? You know, because the girls, the video girls, was giving them hate and shit, and he was like, "Y'all fuck that." You know what I'm saying? Yo, you get over here, you gonna be good and all that. Like, mm -hmm. like, hey, hey, he's a hey, he's he's a true legend for that too. I just had to say that, man. Mm -hmm. Having Heather Hunter. And and Nina Harley and having no type of Broadway stars there is is different. <laughs> it's 
They <laughs> straight up classics, you know. <laughs> what What do you What do you think when uh, people ask you? Do you think Tupac's still alive? I, I mean, le- legends. Legend. Spirit will always be alive. Pac yeah. lives. Machiavelli lives. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, like a Marley kind of thing. They also, or even Elvis. They, they they always say always oh, alive because they keep. They want I, don't to keep know, I don't know about them dudes. I don't know about them dudes. I, I I mean I love Bob. I don't know, but I know <laughs> Pac, and yeah. I truly believe that spirit. Pac had a strong spirit. I felt him coming. I felt him coming. Yeah. Me personally, and it lives on with all of us. Spooky, but <laughs> I, yeah. I honestly did before we re- reunited after nine years. It was like a bolt of lightning. It's like, oh, I, I got to find my brother. I got to find Pac. I wonder what he's doing. I wonder what he's doing. I bet he's doing music. I bet he's doing music. All the kids our age is doing music. We got to link up. We got to link up. We, it was like a drive. And before the technology, you couldn't just reach out to people. Yeah. And 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 I don't know if that's his spirit or it was something calling. It was like a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Carter. Uh, I ain't talked to him in a couple of years, but that's my man. That's family right there. Yeah. The Naughty and, Don. Uh, <laughs> uh, my, like the Money Bees and stuff. You, you ever see that? Oh, Money Bees. Yeah, Money. Yeah, man, I, we all, unfortunately, just saw each other at Shock's Yes, funeral. of course. All right. I didn't go to the celebration, but I saw him at the funeral. You know, all the Bay Area, um, you know, the all digital crew. Yeah. You know. Right. Mike, R. Mike, R. Mike Shock G, because I was about to say, how was it, you know, seeing how much Shock G did with his, and, and like, what he his meant movement to and what he meant to Pac? Like, they was real good friends. And you could tell it, like, in, in some of their, you know, clips with the, each other, like, Yes. How much importance did Shock G had as this in you know music wise period? Dude. Okay, Pac had the film career, right? Yeah. Right. But for the music side, Shock G and Digital Underground was key to keeping Pac successful on the music side. Shock would give us them gems. Maybe maybe one or two songs, but they'd be guaranteed fucking winners. You know, I get around. Bam. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, you, you know, he's uh, so, uh, so many tears. So many tears. What? Classic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Classics. And those are the ones that Shock would be on. And Pac really had to have uh he would lose his like I'm not. He would, he would be banging on Shock to give him he needs some shit for his new album. Every album he needs his new shit from Shock. I mean, Shock was like so talented. He was just he, he was he was amazing. He he was a true What's, artist. He was a true artist. Hey, Mike, uh, he was called the Piano Man, wasn't he? <laughs> he was so excited when we got sheet music for. Um, for I get around, he was showing me the sheet music and shit. And just yeah, he was just real. Just he was just a genuine music person. That helped because Pac was too, and they fueled each other create creatively. You know, you need that sometimes, and when you're making music. But Shock at the time had the power. Shock had power, and it's important when you got power to properly distributed so the right people get blessed or else it's a hard road baby you dig and he did it he did it with pop yeah do what you like and humpty dance and he was the hottest thing moving at the time it just just, just he was just in in between and that's only two songs two singles but in between them is when Pac got his shot yeah and you know, i mean i don't humpty, even know if humpty shot got another single as big as them two See, but Pac was ready for the opportunity. That's why I be telling these young cats, 
Be ready when you get your shot. Be fucking ready. Don't bullshit about when you're in the studio, just smoking and drinking and writing, recording bullshit. Write a real song, nigga. You know what I mean? Excuse my friend. But you know what I mean? <laughs> the, uh, yeah. yeah, the hum Humpty Dance is like my go-to song. You should see me in the club when that song comes on. I'm out there shaking my ass and shit. Oh, they was playing. Same. It was bang. Hey, was hey Mo, Mo, there's a reason he's still fucking single. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. So I can see that. Right. Hey, I'm single too, man. Hey, Big Mike, <laughs> Big Mike, shoot this question. It'll probably yeah, be the. It'll uh, probably be one. Of, it'll probably be one of our last ones. Okay. Yeah, if you could, uh, if you could sit down for dinner with anybody, or or a dinner party, let's say with some drinks. Uh, name three guests you'd sit down with, dead or alive. Dead or alive? Yeah. Yeah. Three guests? That's how it, I mean. Oh, well, Pac for sure. Yeah, Pac yeah. for sure. So let's go five. Let's go. Let's, let's say five. Well, Pac's a shoe in. Yeah. Okay. Pac. Uh, Malcolm. Yeah. Malcolm X. Um, hmm. 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 For example, I always go with. Uh, Tupac would be mine. Uh, Seth Rogen, the comedian, or somebody funny, maybe a Kevin Hart. Oh, live too. See, this is a broad selection. Go ahead. Yeah, and then uh, third, I always like to throw in some eye candy, so I go with like Shakira. Oh, uh, she she's interesting too. Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always go with uh, I always go with Muhammad Ali, and I'm a big football guy, so Chad Ochocinco, and then. Uh, my my eye candy, you probably wouldn't even know. Carrie Underwood, she's a country singer. Oh, I know who Carrie Underwood is. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. That's a Sunday night football. Hell yeah. I'm a football, I'm a football dude too. Hey, you gotta go. What's your favorite team? Oh, hang on. You can answer the other question as they come. I'm a Steeler fan. Okay. I'm a Steeler fan. Um, um, sit down, have dinner with um um, you know who? Uh, 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 what's his name? Sam Cook. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, mm, now that's a good one. 